know, there's a few key elements to fly casting that anyone can pick up in, in a short time. The first and most important key is to learn to develop what we call a narrow loop, which is the shape of the line as it rolls through the air on the forward cast and also on the back cast. And to form this narrow loop, we try to make the very, very tip of the rod right out here stop at a position that we call one o'clock on the back cast, 10 o'clock on the front cast as reference to the face of a clock. And by stopping the tip there, it'll form a nice tight loop. We also try to keep this rod tip tracking a straight line path between those two points. The second key to good casting is understanding your hand motion <coughs> called the casting stroke. The casting stroke changes depending on distance. If we're casting a short line cast to a little trout in a small stream, the stroke's very small. And as we lengthen the line, the hand motion should extend. And finally, on a long cast, a very long stroke to help carry that rod tip a longer length and it helps us to cast a bit further. A third key element of good casting has to do with line control and the line speed. How zippy the line cuts through the air depends on your force in the cast. On a soft day with very little wind, it's helpful to just slow down and make a nice gentle cast. If it's a little windier midday or in the afternoon, we apply more force and speed up the cycle of the cast, allowing enough time for the line to unfurl behind and in front at all times. And lastly, a key element of good casting has to do with trajectory. Where do we aim our fly? On a very short cast, it's appropriate to lower the line low on the front and lift high on the back. In order to achieve that, we lift and lower the casting stroke on the short casts. Then as we lengthen the line, the hand becomes more parallel to the water. And finally, on a very, very long cast, we may even choose to elevate the front cast to give us a little higher trajectory, achieving a longer cast. So keeping in mind loop, stroke, line speed, and trajectory helps most anglers learn to cast pretty quickly, and it's sure a joy once you've got it.